for this quarter, we've been learning about education, education in different branches. And we now come to the end of this quarter, and we will be talking about um, heaven, education, and eternal learning. I hope that you'll be inspired by our study for this week. This is a Bible study, and this is structured Bible study. And we have lesson quarterly guide for our Bible study. First of all, I'd like to remind you that God will restore this earth into its original plan. Amen? It will be an exciting place because we keep on discovering something beautiful of the whole universe and the character of God. Again, I'd like to repeat, God will restore this earth. God will plan for something in this planet earth in fact when this earth was created by god his intention is that we will live forever that uh, life has no ending but unfortunately this earth fall into sin and god wanted to restore it and the restoration we could discover something beautiful never has come to our imagination when this planet earth will be made will be made new this will be made new and this will be uh, something beautiful so our memory text for this week is found in first corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 okay let us open our bibles first corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 it says here i has not seen nor ear heard, nor have entered to the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Wow, beautiful. I has not seen nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. That is First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. When we look at our lesson for this week, the very cent key key thought the thought of our lesson is talking that we will be learning and growing in knowledge even when we will be in our new existence in heaven okay so that is the very center idea of our lesson we will still be learning you know we study about education and we are learning while staying in this planet earth but don't you know that we will still be learning and growing in knowledge when we will be in our new existence and that is in the new heaven and the new earth first of all let us have a little review of what will happen what will be the what will happen when a man dies because Sometimes we think that our learning will stop at death. But learning does not stop in death because death is just an interlude between this life and the life to come. Meaning when somebody dies, he has no consciousness anymore. He has no learning anymore. He has, no, he has nothing to learn anymore during the state of the dead. But when... The, he will, there is a promise of resurrection. There is still life after death during the resurrection. Now let's review what happens when a man dies. Can he still learn something? Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 5. It says, For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing. Okay? So in death, man knows anything he is in the state of unconsciousness it's a deep sleep without dream psalm 146 verse says three and four when his breath departs he returns to the earth and that very day and that very day his plans perish he has no more plans he has no activities anymore it's now the end of activities because the brain is not functioning anymore that could 
uh, record all the activities and also could guide us, could guide somebody in his action. So when during death, when his breath departs, he returns to the earth. On that very day, his plan perish. That the, we also look at uh, what Jesus Christ said in the state of Lazarus when he died. Lazarus was asleep, according to him, recorded in John 11, 11 to 14. Okay? So, as I said, that learning will still go on when resurrection will come because we will be in the new existence. But during the time that a man dies, he knows nothing. He is unconscious. He has no activities anymore. There is hope in the resurrection. And the promise of resurrection is found in First Thessalonians chapter 4, 16 to 17. Okay, you open your Bible. First Thessalonians chapter 4, 16 to 17. It says, For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with loud command, with the voice of archangel, and with a trumpet call, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. The dead in Christ shall rise first. This will occur during the second coming of Jesus Christ. His promise is that when he ascended to heaven, he says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. And then he gave the promise, I will come again. I will come again. And one of the big events during the coming of Jesus Christ is recorded in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16, verses 16 and 17, that during the coming, for the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command and the voice of archangel and with a trumpet call, the dead in Christ shall rise first. So who died in Christ, who have relationship with Christ, will be resurrected. Uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51-54, The dead shall raise incorruptible in the twinkling of an eye. It is coming from the grave. And 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 and 17, the same, that there will be great resurrection. And even in John 5, 28 and 29, that the dead will be resurrected from the grave. So follow my friends that uh, when an individual dies, he is he goes to unconsciousness. He knows nothing. He returns to nothingness. His body will return to dust. His body will return to the ground and also the power of life will return to the creator, and that is God. But there's no consciousness. We are the living soul. It's a combination. When man was created, it was composed of a formation from the ground, and then God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. It's not a separate soul. And when it returns, the power of life returns to God. During the time that he dies, he becomes unconscious. He knows nothing. He knows nothing. For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing. And according to Psalm 146 verses 3 and 4, when his breath departs, he returns to earth. On that very day, his plans perish. Okay, so where the learning again will continue. After the resurrection, the Bible teaches us that we'll have vacation of 1,000 years in the heaven of heavens, in the dwelling place of God. And this earth, after 1,000 years, this earth will be cleansed by fire, and we will be staying in the earth made new. Now, let us look at the reference, what will happen to this planet earth. 2 Peter 3, 10-13 But the day of the Lord 
will disappear with roar. The elements will be destroyed by fire, and the earth and everything done in it will be laid bare. As you look forward, as you look forward to the day of the Lord as speed is coming, that day will bring about the destruction of heavens by fire, and the elements will melt in the heat, but the keeping the promise, we are looking forward for the new heaven and new earth. Okay, so take notice, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also will work that other in shall be burned up. So this old earth will be burned up, will be cleansed by fire. During the time of Noah, flood actually destroyed this earth. But at the end, this planet earth will be cleansed by fire. And then after cleansing by fire, this will be a new earth restored to the original plan of God. Okay, that's why Paul, uh, Paul said, seeing in that these things shall be dissolved. According to Second Peter, Peter said, saying that these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, according to his promise, we look for a new heavens and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. So this will be a new dwelling place of the righteous who was, who was resurrected. People who were resurrected because they died in Christ, they have connection with Christ, they accept by faith the offer of salvation and it's by grace that they are saved and the faith manifested in their loyalty and obedience to the law of God. Okay, now we are now in the new heaven and new earth. Shall we still continue learning? And this is now the, the point of our lesson. The title is Heaven. We will now in the new earth, the earth made new. And we will be in that heaven. We will be dwelling forever and ever. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not die. And we will be dwelling in this place back to the original plan of God that we will live forever and ever but in that new earth the new heaven and new earth we shall still continue on learning some people reacted to this you mean that we'll never die oh what will we do what are the activities that we'll have in that new earth in that new in that heaven that god is preparing for us and they're thinking maybe it's boring but friends it's not only as portrayed by some artists that's just playing harp. We have so many activities and we still continue on learning. We still continue on learning. And that is very important for us to take notice. Okay? 1 Corinthians 13, 10 to 13, it says, For now we see in the mirror darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part. Now I know in part, but then shall know just as I also am known. Okay, there are many things that we will know when we will be in that heaven. What shall we learn in the new heaven and new earth? That's the question that many are asking. What shall we learn in new earth and new heaven? Meaning our education still continues on. In the new earth, and the new heaven, a lot of questions will be answered. As in 1 Corinthians 10, 10, 13, 10 to 13, that for now we see in the mirror darkly, but then face to face, when we will be with Jesus Christ, 
we will know just I also am known. Lot of questions will be answered. Do you have many questions? Maybe we have some questions that uh, still we don't have the answer. Questions about the natural world. And even scientists, even today, could not really explain all that are happening in this earth. All mysteries that science today can't explain will continue on learning in that new heaven. And also, friends, mysteries of redemption. So many questions about Jesus Christ, who is God but left the splendor of heaven. And we words are short really to explain that great love of Jesus Christ and during the time that we will be in the new existence in that new that earth made new we will be learning mysteries of redemption and when we see Jesus Christ some will be asking and one shall learn more about Jesus and his great love we will be learning about the sacrifice of Jesus Christ and there are some questions about the wound in his palm and also in his feet. And we will be learning and learning. We will be learning about the great love of God, the Godhead. And the question is, how long shall we keep on learning? We will be learning throughout eternity. Throughout eternity. We cannot really fathom. We cannot really understand. Day by day, we'll have something to discover. And so it, we are excited. It's great excitement to discover the, any area of education and learning in that heaven, in that new earth that we will be dwelling, friends. We could, we could not fathom the greatness of the Lord. And I'd like to quote Great Controversy, page 678. The years of eternity as the role will bring richer and still more glorious revelation about God and of Christ. As years of eternity as the role will bring richer and richer and richer knowledge and revelation about God. As knowledge is progressing, so will love and reverence and happiness increase. And you know, the more we learn of God, the greater will be the admiration of God. And there are some people who are asking, are there still that will rebel against God in heaven? In that planet made new? In that earth made new, is it still possible that they will rebel against God the same as uh, Lucifer did? And I said, I think as you learn about the character of God, we had been given a chance to understand what is sin. For around 6,000 years, God did not kill right away Lucifer. God let that sin linger for us to understand what is sin. And then when we will be in that new existence, we'll never, never distrust God because we discover and discover, we learn about the righteousness of God and His character. That will be our learning in that heaven. And what else shall we expect in the school of hereafter? In the school of hereafter, oh, so many things to learn. I am so excited, my friends, that when we'll be in that planet made new, that we will be discovering many, many things. And what else shall we expect in the school of hereafter? You read Revelation chapter 21. You read the whole chapter. And you will be excited. In fact, and I saw, and I saw new heaven and new earth, according to verse 1. For the first heaven and the first earth will pass away, and there was no more sea. And I, 
John saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned her husband. And there shall be no more sufferings, no more death, no more, no more pain, no more so many, many things that you do not find in heaven. And it will be happiness and it will be peace throughout, throughout because the inhabitants, they are loyal to God and they follow the commandments of God. All our pain of all suffering, all the things that we struggle with here come from sin and consequences of sin will be no more. Christ came to undo all that and he will restore the earth to what God originally intended. Again, I'd like to emphasize God intended when he created Adam and Eve to live forever, never to grow old, never to get sick, never to experience pain and problems. And in that time, God will, will restore. I know that so much sufferings and we have some fears. We feel so uncertain while we are still in this planet Earth. But God will resolve the sin problem. Christ came to undo that all that and he will restore the earth to what God origin originally intended to be before sin entered. And then there when the veil of all darkens, our vision shall be removed and our eyes shall behold that world of beauty of which we can now catch glimpse through the microscope. My we are we are old when we look at the microscope, especially those who are studying the things that could not be seen by naked eyes. But you know, when we discover many, many things, we will be surprised of the greatness and the creative power of God. He our God in heaven. Jesus Christ who left the heaven and came here to redeem us from our sin, we will be surprised price of that decision and we will be learning and learning and learning as years go by although we'll not be measured by number of years there according to education page 303 again i'd like to repeat this because this is beautiful passage there when the veil of that of darkens our vision shall be removed and our eyes shall behold that world of beauty of which we can now catch glimpses through the microscope when we look at the glories of heavens now scan up our up through the microscope we will be amazed i'd like to challenge you look at the beautiful heavens during the cloudless night and you look at the number of stars the heaven declare the glory of God, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the permanent suet is on the work. What's more we discover in our learning, in our new existence, in that heaven made new. Beautiful. Are you excited? To summarize our lesson, to have a really a mental picture of what we are studying for this week. Our summary is that our education here is just beginning. Now we go to elementary, to kinder, elementary, college, I, uh, masteral, doctorate. It's just an ongoing. No, it does not mean that when you graduate in the formal education, you don't need to learn anymore. Learning is ongoing. It's learning. It's the education that we have here is just a beginning. In fact, the best thing education that you learn here is just a dot compared with the education and learning in the new existence beginning the second coming of Jesus Christ during the resurrection time, especially those who died in the Lord, and then continue on when we dwell forever in the earth made new. So I'd like to read the summary 
Our education here is just a beginning and just a little that compared with the education and learning in the new existence beginning the second coming of Jesus Christ and continue on when we dwell forever in the earth made new. We will be dwelling, we will be learning and learning forever and that will be so exciting activities. Let's now come to the practical application of our lesson. You know, it's just, just, it is not just mere study, but we should apply this in our practical life, in our spiritual journey. Number one, there are only two options to choose, friends, and that is eternity in heaven or final death. Two options to choose in your journey. It's eternity in heaven, continue on the education, continue on learning, and we will be we will be excited going there in that heaven. Or you don't believe you don't follow Jesus Christ, you don't accept Jesus Christ, and you go to final death. Two options. My question is, which one will you choose? We are just having the glimpse of heaven in the new existence when Jesus comes. I, don't, I hope that you feel so excited. And a question for us, which one will you choose? Arrange your activities, arrange your priorities in the choice that you make and i hope that you make a choice to be in heaven when jesus comes which one will you choose number two for us to remember is the education that you are pursuing helps you prepare for heaven i would like to talk to parents are you interested for the education of your your children and the question is that is that only preparing them for their career and has a limit for 70 or 80 or 90 years? Are you just interested for something at that limit? Or the education that you pursue helps you prepare for heaven? And you are interested not only that your children will have a career in this planet Earth and earn money and earn livelihood and have beautiful uh, houses or may have cars are you interested for that i hope that is that not only that uh, interest point of interest is the education that you're pursuing especially for your children help you help you prepare for heaven what are the things that you are excited to learn when we will be an earth made new Think about that. So many descriptions of our lesson of our, about the new heaven and the new earth. What are the things, what are the things that you are excited to learn when we will be in the earth made new? In heaven, there are many things. But personally, I want to converse with Jesus Christ. I want to see Jesus Christ first of all. Having a glimpse of our activities in area of education an eternal enjoyment that will have. What is the impact to you when you read John 3.16? When you read John 3.16, having learned of what God is preparing for us, what is the impact of John 3.16? When you read the descriptions of the new earth and heaven and the learning that we'll have, the excitement that we'll be experiencing, what is the impact when you read John 3.16? Let us review John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. When you read that and then you think about the new earth and the new heaven, are you thankful to God for the great sacrifice that he has given to us? And lastly, try to picture what will it be like living forever and in in, in, in an entirely new world, new world when we enjoy learning and some other activities, we will live forever. So these are the practical things that we need to think about when we study our lesson. Remember, there are only two options, eternity in heaven or 
eternal death you choose. Remember that the education that you're pursuing helps you prepare for heaven and also for your children. And always remember that the things that you're excited to learn when we will be an earth made new. Have a, have a self-examination. Are you excited to be in heaven someday? Okay, and try to picture what it will be like living forever in an entirely new world, new world when we instill, enjoy learning throughout eternity. May the Lord bless each one of us as we contemplate about the learning that we have in this lesson for this week. Personally, I am blessed with this uh, beautiful discussion that our lesson. So, sing the wondrous, sing of His mercy and His grace. And when we all get to heaven, what a day that will be. Are you homesick for heaven? Shall we bow our heads for prayer? Father God, we long to be in heaven. Thank you for reminding us that our learning only does not stop, but death is as an interlude between this life and the life to come. We will still be learning throughout eternity. We will be with you. And it's so exciting thing. So help us, O oh Lord, to choose to be with you in that heaven that you are preparing for us. May the Lord God bless each one of us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.